Well, it's interesting, over the last few years, uh, the number of riders that have gravitated toward wearing pads all day, every day, when they go out for trail riding is definitely on the rise. Pearl Izumi has a long history of making really awesome arm warmer, knee warmers, and leg warmers, and we really wanted to rely on that experience to inform the design here of the new uh, pads collection. So they're going to have a little longer length, especially in the top half here, just like a knee warmer or a leg warmer would. We found that that's what really helps them stay in place because uh, the gripper will stay up on the beefier part of the quad, and they're not going to slip down while you're riding. For us, CE Level 1 was the standard that uh, we went after, which is uh, one that provides a significant amount of reduction of impact from the front side to the back side when force is applied here. So all of the pads here do meet that standard. We're going to be offering two different levels of pads. Uh, we've got the Summit series of pads here, which are a little more lightweight and breathable. They use uh, sheet D3O material on the outside that's backed with EVA foam on the inside for comfort against the skin, and mostly uh, an air mesh material all throughout the rest of the sleeve here, so they'll be really, really comfortable here. Um, for a little more protection, there's the Elevate series of pads. They're going to use uh, element from D3O called LP1. Uh, that is a pre-molded CE Level 1 certified insert. It's thicker, it's going to provide more protection should you uh, crash. And then we add uh, extra el uh, elements to the sides here to protect the side of the knee from the stem on the inside or anything on the bike and then on the outside, especially around the head of the tibia. We've got nylon mesh that allows airflow right through the front face of the pad through the pre-molded holes in the D3O LP1 element right to the back side of your leg. When you're riding along, you really feel the airflow coming through while still getting the protection required. We want you to be able to put these on at the beginning of your ride and wear them the entire time, uphill and downhill, so you kind of get rid of that moment of stopping, putting your pads on, talking to your buddies, wondering is this, is this the point, is this the time when I put them on, or is, uh, are we just ready to go and drop in and have some fun.